Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? It's your man, DJ Ketamine, the Abstract Weed Fiend, and Boo! And we're hanging out today, taking it easy, starting it off, wondering what we're going to do this episode, so let's get it going. First thing I want to assure my fans is don't worry, I'm not going to get all soft on anybody, and I'm not going to suddenly become all positive, because it's just not goddamn in me. <laughs> Man, what is going on? Am I the only one that see, sees that CBS is just ripping us off? Don't you people get it? Don't ya? So, something that makes me chuckle time to time is the thought of what if I accidentally ended up on the most viewed list one day? How, how much would it just bum people out? I think if that ever happened, there would just be so much outrage and so many people would be so bummed out by my presence that it would just be kind of hilarious and I would probably end up getting kicked off of YouTube if it happened, honestly. I'm not a primetime person, I, I understand that. You know, I shouldn't be the face of primetime for everybody to see. I'm like one of those weird cult shows you find at 3 in the morning on some obscure cable station. Just so damn freaky and you're always wondering what the hell's going to happen next so you just kind of end up getting hooked on it but definitely not for everybody so I got my first response video yesterday from one dollar juggalo and it was totally twisted and thank god for that cause if I got a normal response video I'd be bummed who cares about that shit if you're gonna make a response video to anything I do go for it make it crazy and dark and twisted as you can you know that normal stuff just doesn't do anything for me Peace. Couple of dub sacks always brighten up the day. Those are my new twins. It's about time this cat got some more recognition. Even though he's like his pa, kinda antisocial, doesn't want to be on film sometimes. He is the best. Zeke cat. And as you can see by the color, this bud is from the purple family. Uh, purple bud is a major thing in California and it's now getting worldwide recognition as one of the best weeds that can be grown and a lot of people are trying to get our strains and I just happen to live right in the middle of where all the purple stuff is coming from so I see it on a pretty regular basis. This is the latest issue of High Times, rating the top 10 strains of weed this year. And rated the number one strain of the year's Purple Kush from my area. Personally, I like uh, Grey Diesel from the Grey area in Amsterdam better myself for weeds I've smoked this year. Oh yeah, those five special episodes I keep talking about. Well, they're going to be from goddamn Amsterdam, because I'm going next month. Mr. Ketamine brings you his own personal cannabis cup as he explores many of Amsterdam's finest coffee shops in search of the best weed, coming in a five-part special in November. Aw, oh, man, I just want to say this right here is on some bullshit. Have a culture of people who are mindless, who are brainless, 
So Mr. Pregnant is now saying that people that listen to rap music have the brain of a river shrimp and that rap music is garbage and appears to the lowest people. Huh. Wow. Wow. So here's Mr. Pregnant in one of his videos called Bust a Fart 2. I find Mr. Pregnant in general to be repulsive. He is a buffoon of the lowest kind. I think in a way he represents the modern day minstrel show. Um, I think he's actually a throwback for black culture. And I just really, really don't like this guy. I would care to reckon a man that's here to define others' character through their entertainment and what they enjoy in their personal life to be in question. This is a man to achieve ratings on YouTube, is willing to exploit his obviously gross appearance, and on top of that, roll around in his underwear farting. And he's trying to say that pe other people are lowlifes? I don't think so, buddy. I think you're a lowlife. Rap music has a very deep and long and sordid history of how it transformed into what it is today and it was based out of hip-hop hip-hop culture and it was one of the elements which there are four elements to real hip-hop the MC the writer the disc jock and the breakdancer you know and that's pretty much it was a unit, it was four different things come together to form this one art. And for the things he's saying isn't only disrespectful to rappers, but it's also disrespectful to an entire culture that built rap up to what it is. A culture that was originally created in the beginning to stop violence in the cities. That was the original message of hip-hop and that's what people were doing they were using art as a way to express themselves instead of violence so for him to come out and say that people who listen to this music are lower class people and scum and all that is just a horrible horrible thing to me because these are really creative people that wanted a positive change in their life and in their community and to stop violence so I think he needs to do a little research and get his facts straight before he opens his fat mouth again.